Let's take a look at the, the main ideas. So the main idea is basically you're asking yes and no questions. The opposite of what I said last year with the lots and the hots. Mm -hmm. Here you really want to restrict it to yes or no questions so that you're not giving too many clues away. Um, if somebody came directly and said, are you from uh, Europe? And they heard your accent. Are you from Spain? And you said yes, mm -hmm. the game is done. Mm -hmm. So basically you're, you're asking yes or no questions maximum 20 questions you're taking turns and you know it's whoever gets uh to guess you know uh and and win the game whoever guesses first where the other is from the questions can't be planned so students really have to think as they go and that's the great thing about using the english it's authentic mm -hmm. english it's english that they need you know north south west are you near the mountains looking at maps um learning how to you know localize themselves um and so the, one of the important things that you have to remember when you play this game is that you have to have every single student active and to have every single student active they all need a role and so uh, there are task cards that you give each student it doesn't matter if you have 20 students or if you have 40 students or if you have 10 students they all need a role whether or not you're so for example you might have um, three question keepers and you might have instead of um, two inquirers you might have five inquirers mm -hmm. but you make enough cards that everybody has their card and everybody knows what they're doing um, you've got games or tasks like the greeter the runner um, the atlas explorer uh, the videographer mm. the photographer so everybody has uh, a job to do and they work in small groups. I'm just going to click quickly so that you can see uh, in this site you'll see there's um, the cards which just can be printed out. They're all ready for you and nicely color coded. Okay so you've got them here. Basically these are the ones I print out. Here you see I've, I've made I think five, six, seven, seven mm -hmm. inquiries. Yeah. Um, usually I think this is enough for a class of, of over 25 okay so you've got a couple Google mappers then you might have you know your paper um, atlases and you've got people taking videos and people taking the photos keeping the questions using you've always got those those kids that are really like logical reasoners and they can help the ones uh, the questions mm. so it doesn't necessarily mean because you're asking the question that you're the one that has to invent the question it might be you know the logical reasoner saying ask this one because they told us that mm -hmm. okay and clue keepers etc etc okay so um, right so basically that's how it's played those are the rules and you'll see later how to find people to play with there's always somebody in the world you don't have to plan it weeks ahead of time mm -hmm. there's somebody out there that you know you can say this week I'm free this hour is there anybody out there and somebody you know will show up and you can have a game of mystery Skype it's an activity that you can really integrate into your class you know let's say you're learning about a certain area you might actually be the teacher and you know that you want to find someone from that area mm -hmm. and or you're learning about a specific something mm -hmm. and you can fit it into whatever it is you're learning mm -hmm.